information for free. In this video or in this tutorial, I will show us how to use Film Orago, how to edit movie, just a basic knowledge of how to edit movie using Film Orago. Okay, now let's get started. First, locate your Film Orago and launch it. Okay, you have launched my um, film or ago at first you see the screen okay allow this um, process to complete then you accept okay accept the policy guys agree to the policy then the next thing you do is to create a new video this section here is to create a new video right here this section is to um open any saved project okay let's see you're working on a video before so and um you post okay so you're working on a video before then you, you decide to save the progress okay hoping to continue later you come to this place to open that existing project then you continue why this place i happen to be store okay um there are things you can actually buy that you need to buy so buy okay or chase like on um, filter transitions themes objects layer and so on these are things you need to buy but in this version of film orago i gave us um you don't need to buy some of those things in fact this film orago has been unlocked this particular one has been unlocked so most of the things you ought to buy supposed to buy have been unlocked so you get them for free okay then there are a few items that you just click and you you have to be connected to the net to be connected to internet to download okay all right now let's create our first video i'll click on plus after clicking on plus um here we have video we have photo we have preset we have facebook we have instagram and we have google okay now let's assume you want to create a slideshow um with you want to create a video or a image slideshow okay picture slideshow then now uh, this for video okay for example i have a video here let's say um um, let's say I have um, this video. So I want to add um, let's say two video. Okay, I'll click on this to add item. Okay, I've added so any item you click, you see you see item here listed. So we've added one item. So I can either go if I should go back to take me to the first page. <coughs> okay. Okay, then I select another video. <coughs> I'll add. Now I have two items here. Okay, now you can add the third video. Okay, so that means you want to create a YouTube video, for example, or you've created a YouTube video, you've you know shoot a video where you want to edit it. Okay, for you to upload on Facebook, now you just locate the folder. Okay, locate the folder of the video anywhere here. Then you click on the video you want to edit it will be listed okay now you have three videos now i still want to add something let's say a picture so you can combine both images and the video together okay now I'll go to this section photo and then uh, maybe i'll pick one or two photos here let me see i'll pick this photo to be added pick this photo to be added and um I said pick this photo so when you're done picking it so you can actually pick images or video from facebook it's okay you have to do is you log into your facebook account or instagram or google okay okay if you want to search for facebook you log in then you search for images sorry search for images or video from google so i'm done picking my pictures and video the next thing i want to click is the next button i'll click on the next button then to process my video now so for the first time you see these tips okay you can actually follow these tips to get basic um, knowledge of how to create this application so i'm going to ignore these tips i don't need these tips now we have one two three four five six items here on our playlist okay now if i click on play this side is going to appear there's no sound for this um, video quite right so it goes to the next video depending on the length of the video you shoot okay you shoot you created 
for you download it so if you show now by default um let's say this an image now you have five seconds for every image by default so you can increase the length of time okay the time for that image so okay now this is the video now this one is playing okay it will play for um, five sec okay four seconds another slide will come in until it gets to the end of the playlist now you can increase or decrease um, um duration okay of each of these items so let's start with um one of these tools now here's the interface after importing the images this is what you see now in this section we have themes okay we have music we have transition we have ratio and crop we have edit tools okay these are all you need um like i said this is film oracle i also have another application on kind master that i rate one of the best okay cameras that can also be used to shoot real movies okay like you want to add a movie you want to create movies so it's broad it's advanced um, i use it uh, for most of my video um my videos on youtube and it's not like i don't use film or i go to i do um but you know there are things you can't get here okay like um creating some fx effect and some stuff like that so but this app will help you will enable you create a video and upload to you it's very simple okay um, it's not as um, technical or broad or more advanced like kind master so for those of us that need kind master maybe i'll i end of this video or maybe later i'll upload the video on kind master and i will share with the application just um based on request now let's go to transition so let's start with um teams if i should click on this team now automatically okay once you click on this team you see um template team templates here at the left corner of the screen as you can see these are screen templates okay now you can get more teams okay you can get more teams okay let's say under this um uh, let's pick any of this team 80s now if i should click on this 80s you see it's automatically applied team to each of these slides so if i'm playing the movie this is what you'll be seeing okay i see it's lagging quite all right okay when you edit the movies here on um, film or algo, depending on your on the phone processor it might lag so this is going to appear if you want to use this thing you just leave it like this add your sound then you save automatically you are done with the project but if you want to customize your own team or customize um the team yourself then you don't need to pick from this preset or from this template you need to do it yourself manually so you can pick from fashion let's say you want fashion team um based on the video you created so maybe the video is on fashion entertainment this is the kind of slide you see okay you see stuff like this so this is going to appear on um, youtube or on your whatsapp status anyway you want to share it okay you see this way then we have so many of them so i'm not going to just show you know so this for love maybe romantic stuff you know you create videos like this love team and the rest of them but if you don't want to pick any of this thing then you click on none and you start applying it yourself if you want to okay um applying team yourself that's where you come to transition you apply them manually okay so I, i'm not picking anything here now so now for music for example you want to add a background song to your project you click on music then you add you click on plus to add music okay you click on add now it will not take you to um um different you see this directory music and you take it to this section where you select music okay um, these are the default music but you can still choose music from your own library i mean from your own phone so if i should pick any of this music for example uh lady pink you can test the music okay If you want to apply this music, you just click for okay. this music to be applied to that uh, to your project. So you can select music as a choice. Okay, let's say I'm picking this one for example. I'll say okay. So this music will be applied. Okay, to start from this section. But if you want it from the beginning, you increase. Okay, then you play. Yeah, like I said, it's lagging. When you're using um, camera, you may not get 
it once but once you're done with uh, the editing you watch your movie and it will not like okay so forget about the plug now so this is the music that we played all throughout the video okay so you can select any music but if you want to choose your own music you go back to if i should click okay that means i've applied this music okay you to play or track your project okay but if you if you want your own project your own music like i said you go back to music and um this is a project you can remove this music okay this is the music we added you remove it so you can add multiple music okay let me go to my library and pick up um, a music let me just pick one or two short music and um, let's say oh this music okay let's see this is the music i'm adding now so i can now adjust um, um the duration okay so i want the music to play for five seconds it's a play for size five seconds from beginning to this place and now add another music go to this section and pick um a the music i will apply okay now this music will play from this section to this section so you can add music and you can change i like this one come before this okay if you want this to play before the other one okay sorry if you have to okay let me go to my music okay you can bring this I wanted to um, interchange the movies and the music, okay? All the same. Then that means you have to put in the first one, you know, add the first one before the second. If you want this to come before this, that means you need to select this music first before this. So it's not moving. We say okay to this. Then um, okay, let me let me change it this way. I want this to come first, so I remove it. I remove this. Remove this add my music add this first okay i've added that one so the length to play from there to here i'll say okay <coughs> then add another music from my library i'm gonna pick i'm gonna pick mama africa Okay, and this will play from here. Ouch, sorry. Here's the music, I'll go back in the movie. I don't know what will happen, okay? Okay, I'll pack our music. Okay, this one I'll adjust it okay then i'll say okay so we are done with the music now so we can preview by playing this let me take it to this section we will get another song okay so let me pause here then now we're looking for a transition now we want to add slide okay now there's something you should note when you click on any of this um image or or um video you click on any of them it gives you the property okay of this image okay gives you more more advanced um option like i'm clicking on this now it's going to give me show me property that's will be this option let's say i want to edit this now i'll click and it will give me the trim to trim the video to crop it to add subtitle to add pic to add voice cover and the rest of them and if i click on trim let's say if you look at this particular image now the total video length size of this image is four okay we have four seconds now if i should click on trim that means i want to trim a particular section either i want to make it i want to reduce it to three so if i should reduce to this place the remaining part from this section here to this section will be removed okay it will no longer be there so to reverse it's like you want the slow motion it will play from behind and if i come to play to play from here to here if i click on reverse um 
it will go backward okay okay so i don't want i don't want the reverse okay it takes time to just convert it and okay let's see okay now this is the reverse now place the movie backward you may not get it though let me just leave this section crop it to this place i need just 1.6 seconds of this i'll click ok and now pause don't worry then you go to your crop you want to crop the image that means if the image is too small or you want it bigger than this use your your finger to pinch the screen just increase to zoom so this is how it's going to appear when playing okay but if you want it by default you can reduce it and leave it the default size okay that's for the cropping then you say okay to that then the subtitle you add subtitle to this movie so i can say you tap and i will say tutorial okay e everything for free for free okay then here this section you add font style okay you choose font style you can choose font style this is, this is going to appear on the screen then here the font color so this single color this section we're talking about single color pick any single color why in this place multi color like a kind of gradient color you pick okay you see this is a preview i want it okay then here these are more than th these are three color but still gradient color so this is a multi h now gradient color you see three two color you know still gradient so you pick any one of your choice this is gonna appear and all that so i'll just go to simple and pick out uh, let me pick this let me pick blue you know i'm picking blue then i'll say okay this is my blue okay if blue doesn't go you can adjust the size if blue doesn't go you change okay <clears throat> then here these are team um, text team okay i want the text slide to appear the entrance is going to appear see the text you can choose you can choose even from one this is going to appear so let's leave it like this then now see you can see add more text more than one text say all you just have to do is click on plus you add multiple text okay now this text now that I just added now will play from here to the end. But if you want it to play and goes off, go off, it to it to play from here. You want the text to play to particular essay for a few seconds. Let's say one second. Okay, let's leave it here. It to play from here all the way down to this place. Over the text now, then I'll say okay. So we add the text to just this particular object so, so our text is going to play down to this place so we've added the text then the next clip now i'm sorry then we'll go to peep peep means you want to add maybe an image on top of this okay a layer an image for example I'll click on peep click on plus then now let's see i have a peep here plot and i'll add something like this now it will be like a layer you can use it maybe if you have a watermark image you can put it here okay all right let me change this peep to something bolder and use this okay i can use this as my peep and i'll place it here then i'll say okay so you can add on a peep so this could be maybe your your logo okay the logo of your video maybe a kind of watermark you can add different peep maybe you're advertising the product so as you're talking you to animate you know here is to animate <coughs> sorry when you click on this it to animate while playing you see stuff like this you know so just pick any precept here so let me pick um let me pick this spin so i've added spin okay i'll say okay 
that's for the pips you can add more than one pip like i said so and all these things we are adding all these things just on this particular video so you can add all let's say clip two now this clip two you see we don't have anything on clip two sorry this clip two we don't have anything on clip two clip three so you can add pips okay so we are still working on clip one so you do the rest yourself and you, then uh, we have a voice for example um you click on voice recording okay maybe you want to record just you want to, <coughs> you want to record a voice on this particular clip so you tap the record you can say okay hello everyone welcome to learn everything for free okay then i've added a voice then um, i won't delete i won't clear this is to clear and maybe you will record again this to delete the voice so i'll say okay i'm not deleting it then this for audio mix okay you can mix your audio voice um increase let's assume this video this particular video has a voice let's say you shoot a video and it has um, at, um, as an, an audio voice so here you can either reduce the volume of the audio voice that came with the video or you increase it well this is the music i added so you can increase the volume of the music then here for the voice record as the, vo the voice i recorded okay then this filter and filter all these things normally if you have to click on teams see that is the team i showed in the first part you automatically to add all these things you know pass through this of stressing yourself adding all these stuff and all that recording and you no know, automatically the team will give you um default it will just generate a team template for you you just save and you publish your video so but here you need to start adding these things manually which is the best because here yeah, you 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 give it what you want okay but by using that default team it gives you what it has already to give you just a random team so here yeah, i can add team these are the look of the video will look like so depending on the video you created so <clears throat> you look for filter that is um filter that matches um your content maybe you want it to look bright dull gray if you're shooting um a picture slide you just pick holiday and all that golden so let me see i'm picking this holiday i will say okay so if i should apply to all to apply to all the slides all the clips okay so i only want to apply to this particular or let's just apply to all the clips so apply to all clips then we'll say okay then um that's them um, for the filter we have overlay overlay is to um, add some transition some some animations on this video so i can add something like this while it's playing you'll be seeing stuff like this so you can add some overlay depending on what you want so i can put overlay like this winter to so you pick any overlay so i'm going to pick just um, um bucket three okay so i'm picking this overlay so you see stuff like this then you can apply to all slides or all clips rather so i click on ok then now uh, we have um element okay um transition so while the video is playing you'll be seeing element like this on the screen okay so you can put arrow element you know you can put plain element just pick any element of your choice so depending if i'm creating a birthday kind of video i'll just add something like this i guess stuff like this it, it shows and it goes off and all that okay then i'll say okay to this then we have title okay this title you know we did it for the first time we added subtitle subtitle should come after title right now i can just add the subtitle um <clears throat> and i can choose subtitle format here let's say this one particle now let me add the subtitle here double click on that place and say for tutorial sake tutorial sake okay this is the tie to okay now this is what you see it's there if i click on this one this is what you see it will appear like this okay then you see everything for free then okay all you just have to do is um, go through the application learn these stuff you can speed up progress for example um, if you're creating a video on uh, maybe if a comedy skit um or a movie and you want to increase and you want to fast forward you want to reduce it slow motion you click on this 
it will reduce the video this slow motion i use hope you can see if you want it fast it will increase it it go faster it go faster when you click four times you see two times faster you see normal this normal fast faster slower slow motion slower again slow motion then but i'm going to leave it here normal okay i'll click on okay then now uh, we have rotate you want to rotate your your clip you can rotate it okay you rotate it so we leave it like this then uh, we have adjust okay the color the saturation and the rest so we just leave it if your video is bright there's no point adjusting it just leave it by default Okay. um the sharpness and the temperature yeah, just play with this okay then um the next part is to duplicate so you can duplicate this video it will be count two okay they will now have about seven clips here so um, you want to delete a particular clip you click if i click on delete this particular clip will go remember all these things we are adding this effect is just on this particular clip clip one of six okay but if you want to apply it to all then whatever you are adding here you click apply to all okay whatever um, precept you're adding here you click apply to all okay let's say elements now after clicking an element you see the section you see the option to apply all it, not under this place though uh, we'll see stuff like that on titles or subtitles okay under subtitle what was it i think we saw something like that let me delete this maybe under overlay okay let's see overlays okay apply to all so to apply to all the clips so i'll say okay to this that means i've edited this now so the same thing is applicable i'm not going to edit this other ones okay since we already get the clip we've got a clip of what i want so end transfer this we can create a title for this i'll just pick a random title and i'll say winter and then I'll add my text This has been a show to so add my text. Um, EFF everything for free. Okay, that just did. I'm not gonna add any other features there because of time. So, um, I'll click on OK. Now we've added transition. Um, this is to this is ratio crop. Now, I think we've done this already to crop. Okay, this is to crop. So, we've not done ratio crop. Now, depending on the video now if you actually took a shot with your phone or you might not get full screen it could be a kind of portrait you know short uh, video and short screen so you can use this now to increase ratio by default we have 16.9 ratio which is what you're seeing so i've reduced it this 21.9 by default you leave it here okay like this it will it will occupy the whole screen to fill the whole screen why cost light okay it will cut out some parts then blow it will create a kind of blow um, 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 border here okay transparent bo um, border so black blow add frame and the rest of them okay so i'll just leave it by default here okay now if i should use this place and i add blow it will be blow this angle here this border here will be blow okay so just leave it depending on the video size the video you created okay so i'll leave it by default 16.9 ratio 16 by 9 ratio then the edit now like i said i want to edit just this section only okay it will show so you still same thing as clicking on edit here edit tools it will still give you the same information are you seeing it it is to manage to these settings you can adjust settings several i will prefer you leave these settings by default you don't adjust them okay then um, that is all okay so um, if you want to add more clip from here instead of going to the beginning you click here to add clip okay to take it away add clip okay so i can add a clip um, just to add a clip from here so i'm not adding anything i'll just cancel then now uh, think of transition okay now let's not add our transition now that is after each clip now what we is there should be a transition okay that will pave way for one slide just like a slide one click for another so i'll click on this plus 
to add transi transition now here's my transition preset so i'll choose this kind of transition this is what it will show um, it will come up like this before the next slide so you can choose different format let's say you want expansion for example this is what you see it will expand to show in the next slide you click on this <coughs> this other plus to add another kind of transition you click plus to add transition you click plus to add um, transition now if you don't want any of the transition you can still add transition let me click the last transition and use um bar slide now i will say okay to this now now here there's something now to show us under this transition here we have more that is um if you don't like this now this and preset here okay the preset transitions here you can go to more under this more it will not take it to store okay now we download things here we have things purchased like i said like i said earlier no, this application um has been unlocked okay so most of this you're supposed to buy them but it has been unlocked so it's now free now this ones you have them already that's actually in purchase you have all this transition already so it's been purchased but now these ones are free you can we have five presets here sorry five and presets here we have five presets here if i click on this it will download then you click on download to get this new preset okay you can apply this into your into your slide if you click on this video now just click on it to preview what this uh, addition um, transition work this side works okay if I get video, you see something like this this is the trans um, preset transition inside this um, um, particular section uh, based on this sorry this is what you get when you download this material so you get stuff like this flies and the rest so these videos are actually created in all of this you can see videos like this the preset like this so if you want to download this i click on download then it's downloading oh sorry it's downloading are you seeing it so it will not be added to show me purchase or i have it so you go to opener you can download more this one is free open section others okay opener let me add this we don't have any opener i'll download i don't need to watch the video no time so uh overlay for overlay you see preset that this one has been purchased you have this you need to download this and that so just look for collections you download this, this and you already have this and all that so that's how to get more of those um, features so i'll go back to my video okay see the one i just downloaded now so i can add um slides from here bar slides i see it so uh, i'm not gonna apply it to all just to uh, one of the video then i'll say okay then the next thing we we'll have to do here is to we've added them okay we worked on transition we worked on ratio we worked on edit already edit is where you see all these filters and the rest i've actually worked with everything here i see so this application is very simple to use now the next we do now is to now save our project okay finalize the project by clicking on save you click on save then it will save your project you just wait for it to you know to load while we're waiting for the <coughs> while we're saving the project i'll pause this video and i'll resume it as soon as we finish um, saving the project all right we are done exporting our project now we'll not choose project location now although we didn't title it you can title if you want to title it okay you can go to your root folder and title it now i want to you can export this um, project straight to your youtube to your whatsapp to your tumblr to your email to your vimeo facebook instagram any place okay you can save to now what to do is we'll save to our camera roll so it will be in our phone okay to be on our device then from our device we can share it to any of these social platforms also so it's allowed if you want to share directly to youtube you just click on youtube now the this is the total size of the video we just created 14 mb duration 16 seconds modified on the cd date now click on save the camera roll should not be saved to my device okay now save to phone album so this is more you want to share to more social platform you click on more you see uh, i don't need this i'll go back so here is to preview see what you just created now i seen it see the slides you added so you can create a stunning nice looking video like this okay wow 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 i'm sure you love this okay so you can create and upload so my next video will show us how to upload um videos on youtube or if you check and um, the check our playlist you see 
um, section where I uploaded the video on how to um, I created a video on how to upload videos on YouTube okay so we are good to go then okay, I'll just close this I'll go to back I'll go back okay we are done oh then that's all all right thanks for watching so create a video a short video and um, let's rate your project okay thanks for watching so here's my project you can rename it here okay i forgot to rename so i can say um, eff 